Did you know your Windows computer is wasting gigabytes of disk space? Here is the hidden trick to recover that disk space instantly. After an upgrade, Windows 10 creates a Windows.old folder to store the previous version of Windows. It takes up several gigabytes of disk space. If your upgrade is working, there is no reason to keep the old version of Windows on your hard drive. You can delete the Windows.old files without any negative impact to your system and recover all that wasted disk space for other programs. Rest assured you won't lose any important data. Even Microsoft support says you can safely delete it yourself. They also state that 10 days after an upgrade, these files are automatically deleted, but that's often not true. I've seen computers with these wasted files stored months or years after an upgrade, and it can take up a ton of disk space. Take a look at how much disk space is being used in my Windows.old folder, even after an upgrade and clearing out disk space a month ago. If you don't have a Windows.old folder, you probably have not done a Windows upgrade and won't have these unnecessary files. But if it's there, you should have plenty of disk space to recover. You can also see that I have 327 gigabytes of disk space free on my C drive. I'll show you what that looks like after my disk space recovery. To delete the Windows.old folder, you can't just delete the folder from File Explorer. It contains protected system files and you'll get errors if you try to delete them. The right way is to go to the search bar and type Disk Cleanup and select it from the menu. Hit OK on the drive selection, then select Clean Up System Files. Hit OK again on the drive selection, and at this point it may take several minutes, even up to hours, to scan through the disk if you've never run the disk cleanup. Scroll down to the previous Windows installation. You can see the disk space that will be recovered to the right. Check that box and hit OK. It prompts to permanently delete the files, so select that option. It begins the cleanup of the files. It then prompts with a warning telling you that if you clean up the previous Windows installation, you will no longer be able to restore it. Hit yes. This runs through the disk cleanup. Now when I refresh the C drive and look at the available disk space, you'll see that my 327 gigabytes of free disk space increased to 351. The Windows.old folder is still there, but as you can see, there's very little left inside of it. Even though the Windows.old is wasted disk storage for your previous version of Windows, you may want to keep a backup of your current Windows system image in case something happens. It is better to create this backup on external storage so you can stash it somewhere else for safekeeping. The good news is you don't need to buy any backup software. This can be done easily in Windows 10. Go to Start, Settings, Update and Security, and select Backup. Or you can just type Backup in the search to find it. The first option here is to backup using file history, and that works great to keep a version history of all your data files. Check out my other Windows 10 file history video to see how this useful tool works. However, this does not back up your Windows system image, and if your computer crashes, you won't be able to restore your working copy of Windows even if you have a backup of your data files. Instead, come down here and go to Backup and Restore. It says Windows 7, but this feature was brought back to Windows 10 and is still the right option for a Windows system backup. Now you can choose Set up a backup to include all your data files if you prefer, but if you're already using the file history backup then you won't need them. Let's create a system image instead. You will need an external hard drive or a DVD burner for this to work, and I have links to my recommended external hard drive choices in the description of this video. Hit Next, and you see that it has pre-selected the Windows system files needed to make an image. Hit Next again. It shows the total storage space needed, in my case 113 gigabytes. Now you can confirm the settings and start the backup. We'll skip through this quickly. When the backup is complete, it gives you another option to create a system repair disk on DVD. We'll say no, but this can be a helpful item to have as well if your system is damaged and will not boot. You can use this DVD to boot your computer into repair mode where you can restore Windows. Hopefully this solution to clear your Windows.old folder has resulted in saving you a bunch of wasted disk space. If it did, please take a moment and post how much in the comments of this video. 
I'd love to see who has saved the most. Also, make sure to check out my other helpful Windows 10 tips and tricks videos. I cover several other topics that can help you keep your system running smooth. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.